So what is the best power to run the body on that actually supports the immune system as well? Now, this is something I learned in the last few days. <clears throat> and I want you to think about it like this. When you put fuel in a car, which type of fuel is best for your car? Well, you really have to think about, well, is it a diesel car or is it a petrol car? So if you put petrol in a diesel car, how much energy do you think that car's going to make? Not much, right? Well, guess what? Our bodies are the same thing. And I'm about to explain to you something I learned very, oh, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday, and that's why I'm sharing it today. But when we're trying to run the body the best way and help support the immune system and all of the functions of the body, it all comes down to something called ATP. And that is the energy that our body makes to run. That's our fuel. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda and it's a great passion of mine to help people who have had sleeping issues, to have, who have had energy issues, to have um, help people who have autoimmune problems and thyroid issues, depression and anxiety because I have been there myself and I had to find a way out and some things that uh, we talk about here are completely different, if you haven't noticed, to other concepts out there. And that's one way that I found health, okay? I'll hold that. Thank you. So when it comes to energy, there are a couple of fuel sources that we tend to give ourselves. And I was uh, in a class yesterday watching a pre-recorded video for my current study. Uh, and that's run by the Root Cause Protocol um, mob. And they were talking about, now I'm not sure where the information came from because I haven't actually looked that up yet, yet, but there are two energy sources that we tend to give ourselves. And one of them creates about 30 to 32 little bits of energy, okay? And the other fuel source gives us 126 bits of energy. So which one do you think our bodies are going to run better on? Yeah. 126. We're going to have so much more energy. We're going to get so much more sleep. We're going to feel so much more um, motivated. Uh, we're going to feel like, you know, we don't get sick as well because we have the energy to fight off uh, viruses and bacteria. Uh, it just, it just changes the whole way we think. So when we're putting fuel in our car, we want to make sure that we're giving that car the right fuel. So I have a diesel car here. I have a uh, Toyota Prado. Okay. And I use diesel. So if I was to put petrol in this car, how much energy do you think the motor is going to make? Not very much. In fact, I don't think it's actually very good. And I'd have to get my system pumped and I'd have to remove that fuel, right? Okay. So what happens if we're putting the wrong fuel into our body? Same thing. It actually poisons our system and our body doesn't make energy very well. <clears throat> so when we're giving our body glucose for energy, in case you didn't know, glucose is sugar-based energy, we're only going to give, we're only going to make, our bodies are only going to make 32 to 30, uh, 30 to 32 bits of energy. However, when we're running our bodies on fats, we have... 126 bits of energy to work with. That's like almost four times more energy. So if we can make four times more energy, which do you think you're going to have more motivation with? Which do you think you're going to have better healing capacity with? Which do you think your brain function is going to work better with? Exactly, fats. And I understand that this can be a really hard concept to get your head around. <clears throat> so you know, you're not the only ones. When I was first told this, I thought, oh my God, whatever. Are you dreaming? Are you insane? Until I actually stepped out of my comfort zone, sucked it up, gave it a go for three months and went, oh my gosh, yes, that is totally Grandma. so much more better energy. Yeah, that looks like grandma's car, but it's not. Anyway, so that's just my quick tip for today. And that's how you can support your immune system and support your health and vitality and energy just by changing your fuel. Okay.
Anyway, if you're watching live, then let us know live. And if you're catching this on the replay, then let us know replay. And if you know someone who is fatigued and tired and has trouble sleeping, then why not consider sharing this with them? Maybe they need to change their fuel source as well. Okay. Anyway, have a good day and I will see you at this time tomorrow. Bye.